Hey guys, it's SoCalpha95. Welcome for another episode of Kirby the Crystal Shards. Last time, well, I spent a lot of time doing a lot of tutorial stuff. But today, we're going to go to the next level. Let's hit it. Alright, I believe if you go back at 3 star. Cool. Alright, so let's just, uh... We got a rocket. Cool. It's just, it's just a bomb. I'll power up. But in rocket, which is cool. Oh shoot! Oh, I probably shouldn't have got the, uh... Power up that. Oh, I want firework so bad. Give me that firework. Unfortunately, we're, in a, we're nowhere near. I mean, I'm, I'm nowhere near Fourth of July. It's only um, April. <laughs> but um, if this was Fourth of July, then that'd be awesome. Because then it would make sense with fireworks. All right. Alright, so coming in here, that's just a spike power up. No like new power up or anything with that guy, just spike. Alright, so now coming over here. We have a moving platform. Can I just like avoid this thing? Because I don't like moving platforms. Thank you. I just wanna be sure that nothing appears over here. I'm hanging here. Okay, wait a minute. I remember this, like, very well. I remember what's coming up and everything. Oh, shoot. Duke. Um. Okay. See, there's uh, some things I remember, and there, there's some things I'm gonna have to go back for. So, yeah. So, I'm going to. You want this guy. I'm gonna go back. And respawn. No oh, shoot. Um, this might take a couple tries. Um, come back. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't even need him yet. <laughs> no wonder. Okay. Nice back. Yeah, okay, we got it. Now, this combined, um, makes a really big boomerang. Okay, so we're going to continue on. Kill that guy. Um. Oh, I guess I didn't even have to wait for that guy to, like, respawn and stuff, but. Oh, well. I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's a sandwich over there if you need it, but I don't need it. We're going to go down here. This is why I wanted the two boomerang. We have a crystal shard here that requires this. So let's go. And this is this guy's function. He'll give you stuff. Paintings. Cool, right? Far are we in? We're uh, two minutes in. Cool. <laughs> now come up here, get a crystal shard. Um, sure. Now this, this is actually weird. That power up is the boomerang power up. It's, I don't understand why. It's the boomerang and that, like, a new power-up, like, like the, uh, the cut, no, not the cut, the, uh, spike. It would make a lot more sense if it was the spike, but it, they want to make it boomerang for some reason. I don't know, the N64. Yes, that's, that's how it works. Now, as you can see, there's actually a rope over there that has a, or not rope, but, like, chain that you can climb. That's light. Like, I can see the, the, all that light. I mean, from, oh, I, wait, I'm gonna kill this thing. Like, oh, I thought I was gonna get starved, but I didn't. So, let's climb up here. Alright, so now we have to face King DDD, yeah. Um, now this, that part isn't that hard, but he has a second phase. Who would have ever guessed? He flies. Now this isn't hard either with this ability. <laughs> I think I already beat him. It didn't even show off any of his attacks. Crystal Shard.
he decides to come with us as well. Alright, so I want to get that card. I missed it by like a pixel, come on. Oh well, well, let's go on to the boss of this area. Or the, the world. No, let me just be sure I got every crystal shard, yeah. So, we're like, what? Uh, 10% through the game? Well, actually, no, we'll be 10%. Well, I don't even know. Let's go on to the boss. And it's the first boss of every single Kirby game that has ever existed in this world. This is Wispy Wood. I think that's his name. Yes, but he has children. Yay. So you just want to uh, kill the children? Yep, just do that. Here. And then, well, after you do all that, he's going to be like, You killed my children! You deserve to pay for all that you've done! And now I'm going to throw this stuff at you! Just attack this stuff like crazy. Alright, so... Then he's going to, um... He's going to throw apples at us that you actually might want to actually use if you don't have a power-up. Then he's going to throw that stuff at us. Alright, let's just come on. I didn't think I could kill him that, that cycle, but... Sometimes he'll just spit that wind at you, but... It's not that big of a problem. Oh jeez. Come on, kill it. Kill him. Yes! Alright. Beat the first boss of the game. Getting another crystal shard. Now, boss levels only have one crystal shard. So, I was wrong when I said all levels have three. Alright. Alright, we're seven minutes in. Oh, I could end off the video here. But let's go to Rockstar. We want to be a rock star and continue this video on. And we've got a desert level. Oh boy. I I never liked desert levels ever. But this one surprisingly doesn't bug me as much as others do. Alright, let's let's go. Oh gosh. I there's something I don't like about desert levels in video games. I mean, it's not that I think that they're, like, overly difficult or anything. It's just that, like, I was never a fan of being, like, in dry places. Like, I need, you know, stuff. Never liked the heat that much. I mean, like, I like the heat, but I get really, like, like how do I say this? Like, I, I never liked being too warm. I get warm, like, really fast, and then, like, just, like, like, irritates me. It's weird. That's why I love, like, just being cold, you know, but I don't know. Oh, jeez, no. I want to keep this. Because I actually need to keep this, I believe. Because, like, it's these e earlier levels that I remember the crystal shards well in. The later levels, I'm not so great at it. Alright, now, pay attention in this room, alright? Well, not pay attention, but just... Very careful. And in this game, you want to search every nook and cranny of, like, every single area. And what do you know? We got a crystal shard. And I don't see what I need to see to, um, get the crystal shard to... But, I don't know, maybe, maybe that ability will come up soon, and, yeah. Alright, so we have, well, a mini boss. So let's just, uh, just a spam B. It's dead. Like this and let's crush all those things, yeah. So let's uh go here and okay. Now this is what this sand will rise on you. Yeah. Speaking of desert levels, what is Nintendo's obsession with like almost like every single video game, like the the second world is basically like a desert area. I mean this world is not a desert world at all. Like, the, the, this is the, this just starts off as a desert level, but still. There's some- Nintendo has some weird obsession with two things. Heroes having red hats, and World 2 having a desert level in it. I mean, think of all the Mario games. Heck, even in Paper Mario, there's, um, Mario Bros. Wii- the Wii U, the Luigi U, the, uh... Uh, some other things at all. 
Well, yeah. So there's Wall Dude doing his job to help us. Let's go. And coming up. This is what I mean by needing to combine powers to get stuff. That requires rock and something else. Oh, I hate these guys. Pass them up, and they'll start to hate you. They look cute and all, but after you pass them up, they'll never love you ever again. And I doubt they ever loved you in the first place. Sad. Now I, now I actually want to be very careful here, because I think that power-up that I need is coming up. Yes, it's right here. Electricity. Now, rock mix with electricity, I really like a lot. I'm a fan of it. Look at this. So basically, this rock will go around, and it won't disappear until either you lose too much contact with it or if it touches you. So yeah, so basically, it's like a shield. I mean, it doesn't actually protect you, like, if you get hit by anything, but it can actually hit enemies, even with that electric shield force that you probably do that, and well, we got ourselves a crystal shard. Nice. Okay, so I'm just, I like to just, like have this on whenever I have this power up I try to avoid it so I could stay on but I know I'm usually bad at avoiding it but sometimes I'm okay right. cause, look, cause look at that OH SHOOT yeah these guys will, will you can't kill them but we'll try to munch in on you alright let's go and we're at the end of the level did I get all the crystal shards? I, I think I did Uh, I feel like I missed one. No, I got them all. Good. Well, ooh, 11 minutes. We have, we have enough time for another one. Let's do it. I like this music, too. Oh, I'm okay. So... Oh, this. You'll never believe what, what ability this is if you haven't played this game or just know. It's a rock. <laughs> like, some 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 of these things just don't make any sense. But, I don't know. Oh, by the way, getting crushed by these will, is an automatic kill. Yes, one-hit kill. No looking back, instant kill, whatever you want to call it. Um... Now that guy will just put up his shield if um, I try to throw that at him, so that's pretty useless. Alright, got it. What is it? Oh, this is drill. This is like the drill arm from Kid Icarus Uprising. I mean, seriously, it literally is. Look. How cool is that? It's really cool. What's really cool about the drill is, well, as you've seen, after you release B, you gotta hold down B after you release it, after the drill comes out. So it's like identical to Kid Icarus Uprising's drill arm. Even though this game came out like. I don't know, 14 years earlier than that game? No, not 14, but you know what I mean. Like, really early, maybe 14, I don't know. Well, this 2014, King of Kiss Uprising came out in, I think, 2012. Oh, jeez, I don't know what, I forgot when this game was made, though. Matter of fact, I never knew, I don't think. Alright, well, and also, you, you can actually just get around with that if you don't want to press the, um, control pad. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, well, actually, there's actually a crystal shard around here somewhere, but remember it's tricky. Yeah, it's right there. It's tricky to get to. Oh, shoot, I'm about to die. Uh, uh, I don't want this. Oh, by the way, those guys, you actually can't suck them up. But, okay, let's run. 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 Oh, crap, I died. You, um, the only way you can kill them is with the power up and they're, yeah. Same thing with those other things where, you know, like those enemies I forgot the name of, and they're, like, really cute, and, um, they hate, they hate you after you pass them up. Those guys, they, you can't suck those up either. So yeah, it sucks, but it's okay. Kill okay, good. Alright, so let's grab this free 1-up. And, well, let's go get that... Well, I don't need that sandwich, but let's just fall. Yay. Same thing I can do. Oh, over here. And come down here. Yeah, this, this is... Yeah. Now we got that crystal shard. Nice. So let's just uh, get out of here because that's this annoying. And I guess we're getting away from the desert part of this world, which is nice. But yeah, look. Look at all, these, look at all this nice green grass. And walking in here, we have just nothing. Like a desert, like, pyramid or something like that. Alright, well, there's another crystal shard. Come on. No, no, no. 
No! No! Oh, I died. Died two times in this uh, episode. That's not good. That's not a good omen. Shoot. I want to see. Is there. There's something up. Yeah, there, I knew that there was something up here. Alright, so let's. Oh! Mayo Tomato. Or. I think that's what the official name for that thing is. Mayo Tomato. Or Maximum Tomato or something. I don't know, I just, I just call it Mayo Tomato. I think that's what, uh, Kirby Epic Yarn calls it, but I don't know. I, I like that game. I'm, I'm, I plan on Let's Play that game. Maybe. I don't, I don't know if I will, but it's a cool game. I like it. It's one of the more underrated Kirby games. But I like the game. I like a lot of games that a lot of people don't like. Shoot. Um... See, I don't even know what this game's rated, but I don't know. I, whatever it's rated, I don't care. I like it a lot. Oh, now these things will also try to crush you. I believe that's insta death too, so be careful. Just saying, there's no way to actually check how many crystal shards you got in this level or in any level until you beat the level, and then like you can check before you, you know, when you're picking your level. You check there. Oh, I believe that there's a. Uh, Ice power here. Yeah, this is ice, believe it or not. Shoot. Um, I actually want to combine that with... Um... I forgot what this is. Oh yeah, these are ice skates. These are really cool. You, you don't even need to hold down B. You just press B and you get into these ice skates, you can, uh... Um, you can do a spin jump, which hurts enemies. I like this ability. Heck, I like almost like all abilities. Oh, this is King Dedede's function. Yeah. You can basically ride him, and he can use his hammer, and he can crush stuff. Like, any blocks in your path, he crushes it. Any enemies in the path, he crushes it. I believe that there actually is a crystal shard in this room. Uh oh, careful! But he actually can't fly like what he can in uh, Kirby, the Wii one, Return to Dreamland. That that's a fun game. I like that game a lot. I don't think that there's a sequel, so they need to make one. Speaking of sequels, is there even a single Kirby game on the Wii U? I don't think there is, but there might be. Um, please leave a comment if you know. Because I don't. <laughs> I think... I know there's a Donkey Kong game. Uh, there's Mario... I don't think that there's a Zelda game either. At least I don't know. I, I, I totally forgot. If I even ever knew. <laughs> Alright, try to get that question mark card. I miss. Darn it. I forgot what it does. I don't even think I ever... No, I don't even know. Man. Alright, 18 minutes, that's a good enough video length. Next time on Kirby Crystal Shard, we will go on to the next level, which thankfully doesn't look like a desert level at all. See you next time, everyone.